Hello everybody and welcome back to Valhelthia Tree. Today, we go on a hunt for the end portal and then kill the ender dragon. As you can see, we've done it. I hope you enjoy. Okay, today we're going to kill the dragon, the ender dragon. And to do that, we're of course going to have to find the Ender Dragon by using Eye of Enders to find the stronghold that houses the portal. But before we do that, I forgot to do it last episode was add the anchor upgrades to our spawner. So this is a zombie spawner. So we have speed upgrades. So we add... I don't have my... Can I reach it? There we go. So we should be able to add a ton of these speed upgrades onto it. Okay, that's actually a lot more. How many... What's our default speed now? Max delay 440. Okay. Now we've made it world anchored. That means now we don't have to be near it for it to actually uh, kill anything. So we could be all the way over here. Usually this distance will stop the thing from spawning. But now it's automatic and it's world anchored. So that means we do not need to be near it for it to work. Where in the hell did I get a carrot? Uh, let me turn off my magnet for a moment. See, a zombie's in there and he's dead. But another thing we can do is with our backpack, um, because of all this liquid meat that we're getting, we can actually take the liquid meat and store it in our backpack. And because of the liquid meat in our backpack, it will auto feed us. So we actually don't need to eat anything as long as we have tons of liquid meat in our backpack. Now, I don't know if I already mentioned that before, but eh, there's no harm reiterating it. Right, now, in terms of finding the dragon, I added an extra one of those on, and over here, I've added an energy cube, an advanced one, which has 6 million FE in it, which I could use to store on my backpack to upgrade it, but we don't need it right now. So, I want to set up a waystone. Now, a waystone would allow us to teleport to the end portal, and I actually might set up a second one, because I want to be able to... Uh, come back and forth depending on certain locations in the end. So I'll have one set up at the portal and I'll have another one set up in the end so I can have the option to go to the portal or not. Now, of course, we're going to have to make our vendors. We don't have any blaze powder because I may have used it all up. There we go. Now, I should have. Okay, yeah, we have 20 ender pearls. So, before we even go anywhere, I want to enchant a bow. Now, a bow is going to be needed. Uh, to take out the end crystals, and I need to make sure I remember a couple of other things. I need bottles. I need to make sure I have plenty of bottles to collect end air and dragon's breath. Because, well, I'm going to need a lot of that. Uh, I forgot to get myself a piece of lapis. And then we're going to use the soul crystals to go over to our Adolan area, and we're going to enchant the rest of our tools. Okay, power two. True shot. I'm actually going to keep... Unenchanting these until I get something really good. Power tree is actually quite good. So now we can head over to our um, the Dolan area and we just get rid of these. And now we just grab ourselves a stack of soul shards and up to the tower we go. Hello, cat. I'll go up to the top. So here's our soul enchanter. Put that in here and we can. Okay, we definitely want infinity. Um, I don't want unbreaking because I'm going to add indestructible on it. Quick draw. Tinted. Do we need flame? Might as well. Power four. Tr uh, quick draw. True shot. Quick draw. Power five. True shot two. Punch one. Punch two. And now it's all unbreaking. But I'm not going to add unbreaking on it because I'm going to make it indestructible. Yeah. Alright, easy enough to make it indestructible. Just grab ourselves an Eternal Stella, put it on, and it's done. Alright, so we got a ourselves a pretty powerful bow. We got Power 5, Infinity, Quick Draw, Flame, True Shot, Punch 2, Indestructible. We, yeah, it's a pretty good bow. Only thing we need now is a stack of arrows, and I'm actually going to put the arrows in here, just so I don't lose them. Now, the bottles. If I grab myself some glass, we're going to have to make glass bottles. 
and just, I'm just uh, oh, I, don't, I want way more than that. So I'm gonna grab myself some more sand. And also, one other thing, I don't know if you noticed when I was in the, where the mechanism stuff is, I upgrade all the machines to factory level. So this way, it will smelt three things at once. And I don't think I have any speed upgrades on this guy, so I should probably get some. Uh, speed upgrade. Let me stack of them. Oh yeah, I'm out of glass. Uh, hopefully this will give me some glass I need. Last upgrade, I think. Is it the last upgrade? Speed 8. Alright, as you can see now, we're smelting glass quite fast. I could, in theory, upgrade this to the next tier, which would make it an advanced factory, but I don't think we need that much. So, all we need is bottles. And three stacks, nearly three stacks should be plenty. And I'm just going to store them in here, and we're good. I'm actually going to put the waystones in here as well, so just to save off a bit of storage. And... Wait, does that work out of here? Hang on. Where are the arrows coming from? Um... What? Where are my arrows coming from? I don't have any arrows on me. I'm gonna keep the arrows on me just in case, but... I... Is there a thing in here that gives me infinite arrows even though... I need arrows on me for it to work? But the speed we zoom in is actually really good. Like, we can snipe that cat. Neow, neow. A little higher. Dead. So, pretty good, actually. Now, one last thing we're going to need before we go is this tank. Boom. This tank will have enough oxygen uh, or hydrogen to be able to recharge our backpack on the go. And I'm going to store this guy in here. I think that's everything we need now to get going. I don't believe there's anything else we need. I might grab myself a bit more food. So like more baked potatoes just in case. And that's it. To the end we go. Let's get up on our house. And see what direction we need to go. We need to go... Slightly north, more north. Uh, of course, the thing broke. One thing I just realized, I can actually make a bit more ender pearls using these guys. And I'm going to make a few more eyes just in case. Soon enough, if we can set up an enderman farm in the, the end, that would be great. But now, it's turning night time. We don't care about that. Let's go. Alright, we're coming up onto some land here. And uh, so I can break my boat now. Um... Oh my god, hello! Are they moose? Uh, Stray, I don't need you. What are you? A moose! Hello! Uh, okay. Yeah, we've come actually a fair bit away from our base already. Uh, so we've actually come into a nice snowy area after travelling through all this ice. And of course there's another sea temple. Is there never an end to the what the hell is that? What are you? A dreadfish? Purple soul fire. I think I've actually encountered a couple of them before, but I've never actually got a chance to look at their name. It says there's something purple on the ground over here. Not sure what it is. Uh, anyway, so our eyes are still telling us to go north, so that's the way we're going to keep going. Okay, we have come up to a broken, well, nether portal, actually. We've got a gigantic mountain behind us, but some gold. we got some fire charges, a golden apple. Wait, did those moose just bang into each other? I could have swore I just saw them, like, bounce off each other. Huh. Do they just have, like, f uh, fights all of a sudden? Give me that spider. Yeah, moose are everywhere. I think I saw a penguin a minute ago. But I don't know if there are... I... You know what? With all these animals that we have available in here, like, there's three orcas right there. We should set up a petting zoo. 
with all these different animals. Like, we should have, like, a... Look, there's even seals right here. Hello. <laughs> or. Yeah, so we should probably set up, like, another sort of one of those dreadfish. We should set up a petting zoo or some sort of zoo uh, later on so we can actually, like, capture all these animals and display them. Look, there's a bird right there. And there is a astral sorcery temple floating in the middle of the air on the side of a mountain. Okay, and there's a fly in the water. Cool. Uh, okay, we've traveled a bit more. Where's our Eye of Ender still telling us to go, still to keep going north? Right, let's keep going. <gasps> it's a baby one! Literally two more feet away, there was a baby seal. Oh my god, I'm in love. Now we have to get over this mountain. Ugh. Whoa, what are they? We're at the top of the mountain now. Are these hostile? No. Snow leopards! Oh my god. I should probably get some sort of like lasso or something to be able to bring them all home. What the, What's that? Some sort of like structure made out of stone brick. Is that a... Roguelike Dungeons is an Indus, so this is not a rogue dungeon. It's got a stray spawner. Don't mind if I do, I'll take that. A chest full of random junk. This just looks like a random, like, lookout tower. From, a, like, a villager or something. Because it's got, like, a fletching table and a campfire. And it's got a load of wood. So it must have been some sort of, like, camp or a lookout tower from a village. And now we have to jump. Let's jump into the water! Splash. Now, how, where are we looking? Oh, a bear. A grizzly bear. How are we looking on our end eyes? Goes back. Okay, so we passed it. Okay. Um. Oh, please don't tell me it's inside this mountain. Oh, that's going to be such a pain to find. Uh, let me climb all the way back up and try and throw it. Once we find a part where the thing starts to go back and forth and we find the middle point, we have to dig the straight back down. Right, we're going back over this way. Okay, now it turned around. You ha oh, of course it broke. You already think it's underneath this. You know what? I'm digging straight down inside this. Whoa, there's actually an underground area to this. Oh, good thing we actually did check. We've got a witch. And a brewing stand? Another chest. Okay, I'm going to dump off the stuff I don't need. Alright, I'll keep the mob heads. And I'll dump everything else because I don't necessarily need it. I'll keep the golden apple. I don't need a crossbow because I have a bow. So I'm going to store all this in here just so I don't lose it all. And I guess we'll just kill this witch because she's no any, not any good to us. Maybe she'll drop a spawn egg? Nope. Wait, what did she drop? A potion of luck. Okay, that's interesting. And a brewing stand. Okay, well, I guess we'll just keep going down. Where was this? Directly underneath the fletching table. Uh, we have an obsidian skull, so it won't matter if we fall into lava. Oh, okay. I can see the end portal is directly in front of us over here. Okay, so we actually are really close to it. We had to dig down quite a bit to find this. So, oh my god, all this gravel is so annoying. Good thing we used this drill. This drill is amazing for getting rid of gravel. Alright, so we should be able to dig straight over here. And the portal should be roughly over here. Probably down a couple blocks. Um, okay, I thought it would be a lot easier to find than this. We can see it on the map. We must be very close. Oh, yep, there we are. Okay, we were a couple of blocks down from it. Uh, so first of all, let's break this. There we go. And we might as well light up in here and block this off because I don't want anything coming in here. 
wall you off. And now we must empty our inventory because, um, well, I have a enchant on my pickaxe called Acquisition, which I wish I didn't get now, but it pretty much allows any block I pick up to get instantly pulled into my inventory. So, you know what? I'm actually going to dump everything I'm holding into this lava here. So, one second. There we are. Now, just grab some torches. And we can look around and probably pick up all the books as well because picking up all those books in there would be a great thing to have. This evenly spreads them out. Right, let's set up our waystone. So one of them I'm going to put right here. I'm going to call this End Portal. So this would be our End Portal. So in here, we see we have all the bookshelves. So we might as well pick them all up. Oh, uh, we can't excavate these properly, so we have to mine them up one by one. You know what? I'm actually not going to do that now. Let's go fight our dragon now. I'll come back here with an axe that has excavation on it, and that will allow us to pick up all of this very fast. So, now that we're here, we can teleport home. And while we're home, let me just empty my inventory, and we should be able to just go... Oh, I actually put my bow away. Bow, not that bow, this bow. Put all this stuff away. Empty my inventory of stuff we don't need. So like spawners, golden apples, gold blocks, configurators, heads, and coal, jasper, stone brick. And yeah, that's it. Might as well use this bottle of enchanting. Perfect. So back to the end portal. Still hear the birds. Over here. Of course, there is no... Why would there be? Why would there be any Ender Pearls in this thing? Last one. That was actually very quiet. Oh, my sound was turned down. Oops. Okay, well, we got 12 Ender Pearls. Our Eye of Enders left over. We got our arrows. We've got plenty of bottles. We got a chest plate in case we want to fight a ton of things. We don't want to fly around. And let's go. Okay, this is probably not the most idealistic spawn ever. Say if you were in hardcore and you didn't have blocks or you were speed running in hardcore, this would be quite devastating. But we can fly, so it's not that big of a problem for us. But now we can grab our bow. Turn on hover mode, and we can just fly up and start destroying these things. Oh, these actually look quite different. What is this? Crystal holder. Can't break, not harvestable. The endergenic expansion. Okay. Can we hit that one? There we go. Hit this one. And just fly away. Break that one, and break that one, oh, way over top. Break this one. How many are in a cage? Two of them. He's going to keep throwing fireballs at us, but we'll collect the fireballs now in a minute. I just want to break all of these first. Okay, we should be able to shoot through the top of the iron bars here. No problem. If not, we can break them and then shoot from a distance, but... Yep, of course we can. Now all we have to do is break the last one. And then we can start gathering some end air and dragon's breath. Done. Turn off the jetpack. Make sure we catch ourselves. Are you looking at me? Oh, I was. Not having the vitality on our armor is not that helpful. Yeah, please don't hit me. That's the one thing you need to be careful about the dragon. If he hits you, it's going to be quite devastating. So that's not big of a problem because we have a jetpack. Alright, I'm just going to wait for him to start throwing fireballs and we're going to start picking up his breath. Actually, I should be able to do it right here. If he sprays them out. There we go. I'm actually going to turn down the sounds a bit. It's quite a bit loud. But yeah, I'm going to spend a bit of time here gathering up a ton of dragon's breath. And once I've gotten all the stuff I want, we can then take him out. 
Okay, we've gotten twenty a stack and twenty nine of each. So now we can come over here, and with our Vorpal, this should be quite quick. So we should be able to take him out very fast. Okay, now he's on the move again. Um, how do you think we'll be able to hit him very quick with our bow? Actually, yeah, we will. Our bow's actually quite good. I hit him. That missed. Wow, coming down already. Try and shoot him as many times as I can right here. Before he comes indestructible to arrows. Oh, God. Ow! I can't even get close to him. Please just uh, let me hit you. Jumping will give us crit hits now as well. Okay, he's almost dead. Ah, so close. We won't be able to get him with the bow. One more hit. Just get him here. We have freed the end. Oh, we got a shader bag. We can actually use these shader bags on our drills. Oh, grab the XP. Wait, what's floating in the air? Dragon sinew. What the hell is dragon sinew? Uh, they're actually breakable. I might actually harvest these. Anyway, we're here for the egg. So, of course, to get the egg, we just need to get some torches. Come underneath it. Like so. Put the torch down. And break it. Boom. Now, what else is left to do? We have access to the end farlands or the end islands now. Oh, all this biotite now is uh, generated. That stuff only spawns once you've killed the dragon. So, we have the option to go to the other place now. What I'll do is, I'll go through... And I'll set up the waystone on the other side so that we can go to uh, easy access to it whenever we need to. I just need to grab some building blocks. Perfect. Just build a bit of a frame around this thing so it's safe. And all we have to do now is just grab our waste, or not waystone, ender pearls. Troll one true. Where did we spawn? What the hell are they? They better not be hostile. On the map, they're white, so I don't think they are. Um, well, I'm going to fly over to this island here because this looks like the island I want to... Okay, loads of them are just spawning. This is the island I want to set up my waystone on. We're not going to explore the end today. I just want to get over here and put it down. And then we'll go exploring in the next episode. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff in the end actually here to explore. Alright. We'll just call this... End... Where, where actually are we? What's the name of this place? This is called the End Midlands. The hell was that? End Midlands. Now, I'm going to teleport home, because I do not want to be there any longer. Because that was terrifying. So, with our end air, I believe it is end air we need, using a spawner, we can increase the spawn count from our spawner. Oh, and it looks like our uh, food is full. So we just yoink all that, and it will fill up. And there should be a plenty of pink slime in there as well. Nice. So this will feed us for a good while. No, don't throw it. There we go. Alright, so. Break this open. Try and reach over as far as I can. Right click this thing. Wow, it actually used very little. What's the spawn count? Eight. And I think it was like four. Or six. But you can see we generate a lot, lot more mobs now, so this is actually quite a viable option. So, now we got a dragon egg. Of course, what we have to do is replace this pumpkin with the dragon egg. The same as before. Alright, torch. And just to light up a bit of area here because it is actually quite dark. Let's 
put a torch right there and perfect so i'm going to end it there we managed to kill the dragon take its egg and have now got access to the end firelands which we're going to explore now in the next episode so if you liked the video hit that like button and subscribe if you're new and i do stream over on twitch as well so if you want to go check that out the link is down in the description so without further ado i hope you enjoyed Thank you.